Hey everybody, Gary with Basecamp Trading. Let's take a look at gold futures. You see in the London session that gold was just kind of choppy to slightly bullish. In fact, we had some bullish price action coming out of the London section. You had this reversal bar right here, bottoming tail, the entire body of the bar was buying, followed by another pretty bullish bar with a bottoming tail entire body of the bar was buying and closed above the 200 ema we know the 200 and the 50 emas are significant support and resistance and we know that price has a tough time getting away from these and you can see pull back under it back above it doji under it back above it and then coming into the u.s session we had some economic reports and things got a little whippy you can see big bottoming tail and then a big giant topping tail closed in a doji then the next bar was actually a pretty bullish bar opened at the bottom closed very near the top set up the bull flag this next bar actually opened here and pushed way down and then pushed back up triggered the bull flag and then closed down here so this is not a good trigger bar at all and you can see we kind of chopped around, chopped around, and then ultimately this bar right here opened at the top and then was all selling, making this a failed bull flag. And we broke under the 200, ran right down to the 50. And you can see found some support right there. Next bar pushed under it, back above it. And then the next bar finally closed underneath it. And then we're pushing lower. Got a bull, uh, bear flag set up right now in gold that would trigger underneath 1776.30. Our 240 minute chart is starting to look a little more bearish now. This bar opened at the top and is all selling so far. Still have a little while for this bar to close, but this is looking bearish. Momentum hasn't gone bearish yet. 5 and 13 are crossing, and this is a pretty bearish bar forming. So we'll see what it ends up doing through the rest of the day. Here's how we were able to trade that on the Renko chart. You see gold made that push up and then it started pulling back and we actually went into compression right here. And we were chopping sideways inside this channel. We chopped inside this channel for a couple hours and we finally broke to the downside. Our first downside target was at uh, 1780.10. The low of that channel was 1785.40. So we were waiting for a break of that channel. First target was down here at 1780.10, able to grab $400 per contract on that push down into our first target, pull back a little bit, set up a wick off the 18. That triggered in at uh, 1780.40, and we were able to trade that for another couple hundred dollars to the downside. Next target was 1776.40. And now gold's kind of consolidating. We made a little bit of a push down. And we actually have our bag number down here as low as 1769.70. We are bearish on the 240 minute chart, bearish on the 30 minute chart. We'll see. I don't know if it's going to trade down into there or not. Um, we still have a couple hours yet to go here in the afternoon. So we'll see if it trades down there. But. We're able to get a couple of uh, pretty good trades, um, able to make $400 per contract potential on that trade down, $200 per contract potential on this push down, and, uh, or actually, I'm incorrect, I'm sorry, another $400 per contract, that looks better. So you had potential to grab $400 plus per contract on that push down. Another um, possibility of grabbing $400 per contract um, on that push down. And we're looking to see if maybe we make one more leg lower. Because again, we do have a 30 minute bear flag set up. If that triggers, we could trade down there into target. Um, we'll just see how the rest of the day finishes out. But uh, a couple pretty decent trades off of a failed bull flag. Again, we triggered the bull flag. Broke underneath it. This became a failed bull flag. Often failed bullish turns bearish. And so we had the failed bull flag. We're able to trigger to the downside and catch some pretty decent shorts off of that failed bull flag.